Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about common source amplifier with the resistive load. In this circuit, we have a resistor RD and a amplifying device M and input is connected to the gate of the transistor and from the drain terminal of the transistor we take an output as we know that transistor is a variable resistor as based on the input gate voltage its resistance will be varied so we can model this circuit as an two resistors in series that is one resistor is RD that is drain resistor and one more is the internal resistance of the transistor that is R on that is varied by input voltage V in. and this is how we can model the this CS amplifier and this is the V out. In this circuit we are going to calculate gain that is the output voltage divided by the input voltage and what is the uh, input impedance offered by the circuit that is this in, uh, uh, impedance in at this end and also the output output impedance that is the impedance seen at the output terminal. To find the gain of the CS amplifier we have to apply the small signal analysis. In small signal analysis any DC sources are shorted because the frequency content is 0 hertz. To find the voltage gain input impedance and output impedance of the CS amplifier we have to apply the AC analysis. In AC analysis any DC sources are shorted. In this circuit we connected input to the gate terminal and uh, based on the variation in the gate to source voltage produces an equivalent drain current that is ID is equal to GM into VGS. Here GM is the transconductance. and R1 is the internal resistance of the MOSFET and RD is the drain resistor. Now we have to find voltage gain that is given by V out by V in. Now to solve this we, we apply KVL to input loop and also output loop. Now when we apply KVL to input loop we get V in minus VGS equal to 0 that gives us V in is nothing but the gate to source voltage VGS. When we and here at the output side this R on and RD comes in parallel so we can club together as a single resistor that is R on parallel RD. Now when we apply KVL to output loop we get GM VGS is the current flowing through the resistor RD parallel R on. So this can be be drawn as this is the current and the resistor will be this is output and RD parallel R on and this terminal is grounded. Since the current is flowing in this direction the output the polarity is supposed to be positive at bottom and negative at top. But in our output convention since we taken as positive negative so this the voltage across this comes actually minus V out. So when we apply KVL we get minus V out equal to the current flowing through these resistors will be GM VGS. So GM VGS into resistor that is RD parallel R1. So we can write GM is equal to minus of GM VGS RD parallel R on and also from the equi from the input KVL we got VGS equal to V in. So we substitute here we get V out is equal to minus GM V in RD parallel R on. So we can write V out by V in as minus GM RD parallel R on. This is the gain equation of the CS amplifier with the resistive load. To find the input impedance of the CS amplifier we have to ground the output node and we have to connect input DC source that is Vx and we have to find Vx by Ix to get input impedance. Since there will be no current flowing through 
this part because this is open circuited so we can write ix is equal to 0 so z then equal to vx by 0 is equal to infinity so for cs amplifier the input impedance will be infinite to find the output impedance we have to ground the input voltage and we have to connect the vx at the output node and we have to find vx by ix in order to find the output impedance z out from the circuit when we apply cable to the input loop we will get vgs equal to 0 so if the vgs is 0 then the gm into vgs factor become equal to 0 then there will be no current flowing in this path so we will get equivalent circuit will be a resistor of rd parallel r on which is connected to a dc source that is vx then if we find vx by ix we will get rd parallel r on this is the output impedance of the cs amplifier with the resistive load thank you for watching